So now Kafka ready as well as the simulator ready. So Kafka uh, getting the data properly from here. So, okay, now we are going to sync with the Spark and we are trying to read the data via Spark itself. That's the plan. So for that, I have to open Python community. So my favorite ID for Python developments and all. So I'm using this. Let me go step by step v one. So here I enter the platform practice. We are going to start with it. Spark three expressions. So these are the packages I'm using right now. Afro two x and. So these are also the app for references packages, NumPy 1.24, Pandas 1.5, Psychop G2. So you know, time scale will be integrated with the 2.8. And PySpark is going to be worked with the 3.1 expressions. Okay, so because based on the compatibility only, our code is going to be run. So that I just provide this Spark and its version references as well to you. you anything else? Yeah, these are all the major important things. So now let me go back to the, our codes. So what we are doing right now, this is our sample codes we have already generated. So in this code, I just import the sparks and there's the package references on that. And then I'm going to start our uh, you know, spark cluster with the driver memory one GP, executor memory one GP with the three node. At the same time, three executor is going to be run in the backend with one driver operation. This is we are going to see, and each of them are minimum we required with the memory over at one GP right now. So that's the reason I just created as well as the same right now. And deploy mode as a yarn and a client deploy mode we are going to see in our examples in a few minutes. So under, I just reduce the shuffle partitions for our performance to give a better outcome to us. That's the reason I just reduced it and bootstrap server, which is going to be read the data from our Kafka. So this is the Kafka server details. Already I just I hold this information in our uh, simulator as well. The same I just pointed here. And this is the topic name. So topic name is nothing but uh, we have created and we have sent some data to topic, right? That's the same information I just posted here. So Kafka topic one is a small at Vegas. So. so starting offset. So I just want to fetch all the data at once and planning to see how it looks like. And then all the data I just convert. And once the data is converted, I just going to be slides based on the columns. Because while I'm sending the data, I have created multiple columns, right? So this is a timestamp. And this is the device information. And then this data is kind of temperature data. This record is a kind of humidity. This record is a kind of pressure. And another one is water level. So, so four data continuously sending to us. Uh, this is the comma separated data. What I'm trying to do, I just segregate and create as a separate columns. This is what I'm doing right now. So using split regex reflex functions in Spark as well as the split function I'm using and the convert normal timestamp to actual timestamp format. So date format, whatever we have received, that has to be converted here as well. And all the data we will be using, right? This is our aggregated data. This is a, as of now, it's a string data. I just convert into decimal format as well. Okay. Any question on this? This is more important. To enter code, this is very, very important to us. Okay, great then. So DF3, what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to select the specific columns and I want to see the data in our environment as well. This is what I'm doing right now. So enter real-time training practice, you are going to see step-by-step -step command code development and all. For this is a workshop. I don't I like to waste your time. I would like to give you as a crispy and a clear. That's the magic motive for me. So that's already developed the code and I'm going to execute on the back end. So what I'm trying to do, I just hold this data, the streaming information here as well. Let me go into open one more terminal. This is not required. This is not required. This is also not required. 
Okay, it's ready. I just open the code here itself. If any changes is required, I can do here as well. Okay, so and then I just copy this box submit command with the yarn deployment. So you can see the outcomes. So number of executors, number of instances, I just already hold with three as of now. If I want to overwrite that information, I can command and override here. That's well. like that's possible. First, let me run it. And if you want to do some play uh, practice with our code, we'll do it in a runtime execution software. Okay, so the respective packages are going to be built in the back end from the Maven build places. So it's a kind of Maven dependency only the packages. It's just going to be downloaded at runtime. Once download is done, then Spark is going to be started. Yeah, Spark in accepted state. We can see this information in our YARN application as well. So now it is accepted state. Yeah, it's moved into running. So from accepted state to running state is just migrated. And this resource is expected and hold with 7 GP total space, uh, total RAM, and uh, four cores is just allocated because three for our executors, one for driver is just assigned, and data also fetching from our code analysts. So I can see the data. Let me go on back end and see what is happening with our Spark 3 UA. Okay, so job ID created and it's just fetching the data. Let's take this stage now. It's a micro partition, right? So macro batch scan references just happen. And if you want to go directly with the structure streaming, you can see this information structure. So data is already hold because there's a old data so that it won't generate any new records as of now. So whatever the data I just picked and it, how many inputs has received, how much it was processed, how much row just generated and that batch duration, how long each batch will be taking the time and the operation. Each batch execution, how long the time will be taking care. There are new references in Spark 3x, they have added this tab, and you will be seeing with histograms as well. Now, what I'm trying to do, I'm just going to start my simulator with uh, 10 seconds once. I'll see. Because world data is get ready. Now, new data, whatever it has sent, that we can see right now. So, there's a data, right? So, you can see. 530, 54 second, sensor 3, 105, 51, something is just sent. The same data is just sliced and they make it proper structure format. Same like each of the data is just generated and sending to us. Okay, if you want to refresh this page, you can see this some changes. You can see some data is received, input records, as well as the process rate and the input rows. How many rows? It's just one or one or two rows only, right? That information and the batch duration, how long it will take the times. So you can see some changes, reflections is continuously happening. Got it? Yeah, got it. So one question, like here, the statistics are shown by Spark only by after reading the data from uh, Kafka or uh, how this is generating actually? This is how Spark is going to be fetching the data. Every data in a streaming, right? It just uses yeah. as a micro partition. So how many micro partitions has received? How much it was processed successfully? Everything we are going to see in this dashboard on that. Spark 2x doesn't available. Spark 3 only just introduced. Okay. So how much input is records per second? You can notice it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see. Now I'm going to change and run it again with the size increased. I just going to be change a comment. I just add some number executor here itself. Oh, let me going to add it and increase it more right now. Mm 
So we'll see the different behavior with this uh, executors. So new cluster has started and running to read the data. We can see this information. So almost a queue is filled. And because the production queue, I just assigned up to 100. But it's just trying to fetch the data from the it's a maximum capability to focus. Okay, let me go into see this information. So different data behavior is just happening. Okay, so total size is assigned, 9 GP total, and five courses are assigned as of now. So each container, one, two, three, this three notebook, because uh, three node cluster only we just started, two containers have started from data node two, two containers start from data node three, and one container start from data node one. This is the much memory of information and just fetch it from this each node as well. Okay, let me go into play with another one. I'm just going to be change this values, memory, driver memory, everything I just reduced. Okay. Now I just going to be increase a driver memory, a number of executor I may be going to reduce to two. Driver hyphen memory, two GP hyphen hyphen executor hyphen memory, two GP. This is the thing uh, I'm going to do it right now. <coughs> Okay, I did it. I just fetch it. Let me go into see this information how much application is assigned. 7 GP memory is just assigned and three core because we just created num number of executor with only two and one driver to execute it, as well as each of them two GP of RAM assigned. So based on that, three into two, six plus one is just assigned total size of the memory. Let me go into see this information. In real time, they will be going to ask the resource allocations and the size of the estimation software. Well. We will be doing some trial practice on that. Well. Okay, now you have some idea, right? How this box submit is working, how the resource has aligned with the on mode. Any question on this? I just for it. Oh, no questions, then I can prove it. If any question, I can ask. You can see, I just stop the simulator automatically, which just reduced to zero. There was no record for. So, the streaming micro batches is coming as I empty. It is completely down now. 